Hello YouTube, this is your boy The Crazy Trader and I'm here again with your favorite stock review. I'm really excited today because my portfolio did very well. Um, $961 to end the day. That's 2.3%. That's a really good day for me. If it continues like this, yeah, I think I should be in the 50 grand in the coming months. That is if it continues like this. But my portfolio has been bouncing up and down for, for the past months now. So I don't really mind. I, I, I you know, I turn my... my portfolio as a very good and balanced portfolio which is recession proof that's personally to me i believe my portfolio is recession proof and uh let's go and talk about ivr one of my one of my favorite stocks because they had an they had their um, earnings about two days ago i think on wednesday um and and they did really good on their earnings and the reason i didn't really want to talk about their earnings because um they they did okay they they did good on their earnings and i'm i'm proud of them but i'm expecting it i'm expecting that but something happened today that's why i'm going to talk about this earnings today and i'm going to share that with you okay so let's look at ivr and i'll talk to you about whatever happened today ivr was up three percent which is very substantial considering the stock has been bouncing back and forth for a while now so today my today's return on ivr was 240 dollars yesterday i was down 11 percent today is nine percent if it keeps going like that um we are going to get out of this down um throttle and then be somewhere in the stratosphere okay so let me talk about the earnings that they have okay so investco mortgage capital Q3 earnings and revenue surpass estimates. So the estimates that it gave, they surpassed it, okay? So I'll read a, a, one or two paragraphs to you so that you can see what happened. Invesco Mortgage Capital came out with quarterly earnings of $0.10 cents per share, beating the Zach's consensus estimate of $0.09 cents per share. This compares to earnings of $0.06 cents per share a year ago. The figures are adjusted for non-recurring items. Okay, so this quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 11.11%. .11 okay so that's that's one of the you know important information that you should see in there and then let's go to uh motley fool motley fool they posted the whole transcripts of the of the earnings call over there and I, i'm going to read one not even a paragraph just uh one aspect of what the ceo said j john m as anzalon i don't know if i pronounced the name right but right in the middle of his first paragraph he says i am pleased to announce earnings available for distribution for the third quarter it came in at 10 cents per share book value ended the, the quarter at three dollars 25 cents per share which represents an increase of 1.2 percent so the book value increased 1.2 percent basically this increase in book value combined with our 0 0.9 cents per share so nine combined with a nine cents uh, per share dividend produced an economic return of four percent for the quarter if you have any numbers if you want the numbers this is it an economic return of four percent for for the whole portfolio and there's a lot of information what, what the portfolio is invested in and and how, how much cash they had at, at hand their liquidity and everything is in their earnings call so yeah I, I urge you to go to modly full and then you can read all the details in this i i don't want to go through all this the video is going to be too long but then let's go to uh the institutional holdings we've always done that the last time i reported the institutional holdings it was at 51 point eight four but now it's at fifty one point nine six percent i tell you anything about 50 is good for me so i like it i do like it uh, the, the the little change in it i don't really mind the change is more, it's a positive change but i don't even care because i know institutions are going to gobble this slowly slowly at the blind side of the retail investors when we are chasing the meme stock they will be they'll be putting a lot of you know money in here because it's giving out dividends and i want to see if more, some of it have, have been updated okay so when i went to check it out most of it have most of them haven't updated their their thingy. It's still in the second quarter. You can see June thirtieth, June thirtieth, June thirtieth. But looking at just the first page, I don't want to go through all of it. Just the first page. Two people have updated. Okay, not two, just three. Three people have updated their you know the information on here and this is the beach point capital management lp they increased their 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 shares by 1.8 million which is 143 percent change in the share increase okay and then you can look at um these people mara i said didn't change anything but if you know they have updated their information and then we have van egg associates corporation they also sold 200,000. that represents nine percent of their portfolio so if you're into the numbers you can go all here and then go check out the numbers now to the reason why i am even talking about this is because of mitt okay that's the reason why i'm even talking about um ivr today because mitt which is also uh, a mortgage investment trust the same you know um 
portfolio that IVR has, or the same industry that IVR is is in, also had an earnings today, and they blew. They did fantastic. They blew through their earnings. They started the day at twelve dollars and ended at thirteen dollars. They were up today at ten percent. You can see ten percent, ten point six percent. At a point in time, they were up thirteen percent, and and this is the same. It's the same family as IVR. So you can see. I mean, if you go down here, they say uh, people who own MITT also own stocks like this, okay? IVR, MFA, and all this, you know, mortgage REITs were all in the positive today. So if you're sitting on the sidelines, there's going to be an awakening very soon. And, and it has started with MITT. I loved it. 10% is a lot. Imagine if IVR was able to go out 10%. It's, it's a lot. So if you, are, if you don't have any mortgage REITs in your portfolio, IVR is a great place to be at. If you want to jump on, on something that is also skyrocketing, MITT, it's also a great place. But I believe, you know, with, with, the, with the hype going up, it's going to eventually taper down a little bit and consolidate. So you have to wait for it. But IVR hasn't really done a drastic move. So it's a good place to look at. And if you haven't done any mortgage investment, this is a place to look at. I am personally invested in IVR. I have a lot of shares in there. I, I don't know how many, how many shares. How many shares do I have in IVR? 3,000. I have a lot of shares in there and I'm, I'm really looking forward to acquiring more when when I feel like it. Anyways, not to waste too much of your time. Like I always say, scared money don't make no money and you always got to risk it to get the biscuit. I'm out of your hair. Stay blessed. Stay safe and peace.